Okay, so if you wanted to change what desktop a certain application or window is in, then normally you'd have to click and drag it to a desktop like this using the mission control settings. But that can be pretty slow. So in this video, I'll show you how I instantly move any window to any desktop using a keyboard shortcut. So I can press a keyboard shortcut to move it to desktop one, desktop two, or desktop three instantly. This works in any application, not just Photoshop, and it works regardless of the window size. So I can click my keyboard shortcut and have my window go between any desktop immediately. So let's hop into Keyboard Maestro and I'll show you how this macro works. So we're here in Keyboard Maestro. What we do is we save the current mouse location. So you can see here that wherever I put the mouse, that coordinate is saved. So if I move it to the very top left of the screen, it becomes zero, zero. And the first value is how far away it is from the left side of the screen. And then the second value is how far away it is from the top of the screen. So we save the current mouse location using this variable in Keyboard Maestro called current mouse. And then we click at this position up here, which is right next to the top of the window. So we click and hold the mouse here. And I'm gonna skip this action for now, I'll come back to it. And then we type the keystroke, either control one to move to desktop one, control two for desktop two, and control three for desktop three. So you may need to go into your settings and down to keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, mission control, and enable those checkboxes here if they're not already enabled so that you can switch between desktops with a keyboard shortcut. So that is the next action. And then finally, getting near the bottom, we release the mouse button and then reset the mouse location that we captured up here to wherever it was. So in this way, when I switch, it clicks up here, moves the window to the desktop of your choice, and then releases the mouse button and brings the mouse back to where it was. So the keyboard shortcuts I have, these map to are control option commands, and then I have some sort of uh, bracket or backslash. So it's this, and then one of these three. So this one moves to desktop one, this to number two, and this to number three. And I find that easy to remember and easy to activate when I need to. So that's how this macro works. And then this action here, which I said I'd come back to, is a special case for Photoshop. And you may either not need this at all or may need to modify it for other applications as well by coming here and adding an application condition. And the reason I have this here to move the mouse to this position instead of the one we had before is that in Photoshop, the other mouse coordinate location that I had above doesn't always work. So I added this action to move the mouse to a point where we can successfully click and drag the window. So as always, I'll have a link in the description for you to download these macros if you want and use them yourself. But that's been it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.